Hey everyone, Kyle once again. Well, and welcome back. And uh, well, well, first, I want to say um, happy Halloween. You know, and um, see. And now, um, for this video, so I do um, reviews of of uh, of my entire collection of Goosebumps, as you can see. Got I'm wearing the new hat that I got, and I'm wearing this shirt here. Goosebumps celebrating 20 years, you know. And and, I, and Goosebumps. That's the, this is this is what um I this is another thing I I, gr I grew up with. I grew up um, loving Goosebumps, you know. And you know this is what um the reading I read all the original book series, you know, and that's what um really enough so over the years, you know, since I started reading Goosebumps is what made me love to read, you know, reading all these books, you know. <clears throat> and I've collected and I've collected all of the original series, you know, and. I thought for for this for this year um, uh, on Halloween I review show you all of my my entire uh, my entire book collection of Goosebumps you know and of course the uh, Goosebumps uh, from the written by the master um, R L Stein you know who to sort of publish it published the original series in uh, 1992 and the original series ended from 1997. And of course they've made a lot. Of, of course they've made a lot of spin-off series. Um, the Give Yourself Goosebumps and um, the newer versions, you know, uh, the new Horrorland book series, you know. And um, they made a a, P, a PC a computer game which I used to play. I used to enjoy that. It had a lot of good things about it, you know because that film how Steven Spielberg helped make that film um, make uh, the the computer game and also Jeff Goldblum started in the in the game as Dracula. That was got a, like a nice touch to it, you know. It's all the making of the game, you know. And there was also a game, the video game that was made for Wii. I never played it though. And of course, the, the, the um, I think of course um in nineteen um ninety five they came out with this with the with the the TV series of Goosebumps, which I absolutely love. I I love the always love the original TV series, you know, from ninety five to nineteen ninety eight. Um. And I still, I still, I have the the series on some of the most of the episodes on DVD, you know. And I still enjoy the series. That's another thing I grew up with the book, reading the books, and I grew up watching the series, the TV show, you know. Classic, a classic t t kids TV show, you know. And really love the the theme that's in the intro and in it during the intro of the, the show and and, and credits, you know. Love the theme to Goosebumps, you know, by uh, Jack Lenz, who helped come up with came up with the theme for it. Love, love that theme, you know. So, so, so um, let's just get down to reviewing my um, my book collection, my Goosebump book collection, and also one thing, R.L. Stein is I would say he's a I would say he's um I would I wouldn't say well, he's a master he's a, he's, a, he's a master of 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 the book series you know and since that this year over it's uh, Goosebumps is still popular you know as of this year you know the series was uh, sold over 350 million books you know. Um, world worldwide, you know. I'm um, here if you're wondering. That's my dog barking in the background. She gets it. She gets excited when uh, when the doorbell rings, you know. So, yeah. So, um. Anyway, that um, getting back to the um books and also the like I said before, they're making they're making a film of Goosebumps starring Jack Black. It comes out um August seventh, two thousand fifteen, and I'm looking forward to seeing that as well. I will get seen how Jack Black plays as he portrays R.L. Stein in the film. You know, even R.L. Stein will have a cameo in the film as well. You know, so I'm looking, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. You know, so yeah, so let's get back to um, um, getting back to um, show of my entire collection. So starting off, um, here's a whole of the first ten. I'm um, starting with the with the first one. I'm sure because all I've seen a lot of other other um, uh, people on YouTube showing their own personal the collection of the books, you know. So I figure I show off mine, you know. Um, starting off, book number one. Welcome to Dead House. Number two, Stay Out of the Basement. Um, the number three, Monster Blood. Four, say cheese and die. Um, then uh, number five, the curse of the mummy's tomb. Six, let's get invisible. Um, number seven, the one of the, one of the um, night of the living dummy, which slappy 
um, will be appearing and it will be appearing in the film as well. Because Slappy is, is, is a popular Goosebump Goosebump villain. He appeared in a lot of books and um, a few of the TV show episodes, you know. So uh, it's definitely one of my fa one one of my favorite uh, books of the series. I like always enjoy the character of Slappy. Number eight, the girl who cried monster. Number nine. Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Um, the Ghost Next Door, number ten, and which also, um, um, which I also mentioned, I do have the, the collectors of the the mil uh, the jigsaw puzzles, like which I showed in my um, unpackaging videos. I got those. I got those as well. If you've seen my videos of those, so just saying, you know. Later, guys, I I do on the puzzles. Um. Then um, then we're going to number eleven, Goose. Um, the, what, of course, uh, um, Arl Stein's his favorite story, The Haunted Mask, which he said you know is his favorite story, and which the one of the most popular TV uh, episodes as well. And which I also, of course, is also probably one of my fa fa favorite to a lot of people, you know. And of course, of course, is also a favorite of mine as well. One of the most popular stories, and so The Haunted Mask. Are all signs his favorite. Um, number twelve. Be careful what you wish for. Uh, Thirteen. Piano lessons can be murder, which is one of my brothers. This is one of my brothers' favorite stories. Um, Fourteen. The werewolf of Fever Swamp. Fifteen, you can't scare me. Sixteen, one day at Horrorland. Seventeen, why am I afraid of bees? Eighteen, Monster Blood Two. Nineteen, Deep Trouble. Um. Number 20, The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Okay, next one. Uh, 21, Go Eat Worms. 22, Ghost Beach. 23, Return of the Mummy. 24, Phantom of the Auditorium, 25, another favorite, Attack of the Mutant, 26, My Hairiest Adventure, 27, Night in Terror Tower, 28, Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Um, 29. Monster Blood 3. The number number 30. It came from beneath the sink. 2. Scoot these over, make more room. Number 32, The Barking Ghost. Thirty-three, The Horror Camp Jelly Jam. 30, uh, 34, Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. 35, Shocker on Shock Street, which and, and I'll show you another unpackaging. Got the, the shirt that I used to have a war a long time ago, so I, I have that still. We've shown another unpackaging, vi unpackaging video. 
in which um, this is all they said this is also going to be one of the creatures that's going to be appearing in the movie as well, the the praying mantis. So, so yeah, a shocker on Shock Street number thirty five. Number thirty six, the haunted mask two. Thirty seven, the headless ghost. 38, The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena. 39, How I Got My Shrunken Head. And number 40, Night at Living Dummy 3. Next, next section. 41, Bad Hair Day. 42. Egg Monsters from Mars. 43. The Beast from the East. 44. Uh, Say Cheese and Die Again. 45. Ghost Camp. Um, 46, another one, another favorite, uh, of, of mine, which is also my favorite, one of my favorite episodes of, um, of the TV show, How to Kill a Monster. Like I said, it's, that's also my favorite story, one of my favorite stories, and also one of my favorite episodes of the TV show. So that's How to Kill a Monster. 47, um, Legend of the Lost Legend. Um, 48. Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. 49, Vampire Breath. And number 50, Calling All Creeps, which also one of the, one, one of these, one of these, uh, Creeps is also going to be appearing in the film as well. Number 50. Here we on number fifty one. Beware the snowman. Number fifty two. How I learned to fly. Fifty three. Chicken chicken. 54, Don't Go to Sleep. 55, The Blob That Ate Everyone. 56, The Curse of Camp Cold Lake. 57, My Best Friend is Invisible. 58, Deep Trouble 2. 59, The Haunted School. 60, another one, another one of my uh, favorites. Werewolf Skin. That's another one of my favorite stories, and also the um, the the episode, the episode Werewolf Skin is my uh, what my brother calls one of the scariest episodes he's seen. That's that that's that's what he said. The episode Werewolf Werewolf Skin is one of the scariest episodes he's ever he's seen on on the TV show. And but um but this is also one of my favorite stories as well, Werewolf Skin. So one more time. Um, number then number sixty one. I live in your basement. And the, in the last book of the original series, Monster Blood 4. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit uh, there's uh, some 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 uh, books I have, you know, um have have been worn out over the years, you know. 
but this just shows how long I've been reading these, you know. So yeah, that's my complete of the collection of the of the original series. I got I still got more here. Let me still maybe move these out of the way. I got I still have more here. Put these behind here. Um, of course on the ba on, uh, on the back of the of the Monster Blood Forest, and now it's entering the Goosebumps 2000 series. Now, now, now honestly, um. I wasn't the really the biggest fan of the 2000 series though, but um, but I, I I do have the first of the first one. That's the only one I've ever read. So, but I, but but which I still like. So this is the first this is the first and only book I have of the 2000 series. Cry, uh, Cry of the Cat, which I do enjoy this one. It's it's, it's a, it takes place like the Bagus, uh, gets like back to the Goosebumps basics basics of the, the original series. So yeah, this is the first. This is the first entry in the like, two series two thousand, but this is the only one I ever had. Um. Well, honestly, well, honestly, I yeah, I used to have a like one or two of the two thousand series, you know, but I got rid of them because those ones weren't interesting. So this is the only one I have. So this is the only one I ever ha have now, and I uh, this is one I still enjoy. So yeah, the first one, the best of the two thousand series, is this one, Cry of the Cat. Um. Then. And get into the series, um, which I still en I, I enjoy, you know, um, is the Give Yourself Goosebumps series. So we're getting to the, the, the to the to the Give Yourself Goosebumps series, the ones that the 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 your you yourself the reader is put into the story has over twenty different shoes, over twenty different endings, you know. So getting out to the original um, Give Yourself Goosebumps series, number one. Escape from the Carnival of Horrors. Number two, Tick Tock, You're Dead. Number three, Trapped in Bat Batwing Hall. Four, The Deadly Experiments of Dr. Eek. Number five, Night in uh, Werewolf Woods. Number six, Beware of the Purple Peanut Butter. Number seven, Under the Magician's Spell. Number eight, um, which is uh, one, of my, uh, one of my favorites in the Give Yourself Goosebumps series. This is a good one right here. The Curse of the Creepy Coffin. That's this. That's this is a good one um, to read. One of my favorites of this type of series. Um, number nine, Night in Screaming Armor. And number ten, Diary of a Mad Mummy. And um, uh, another, another another one of my favorites. In this in this series, deep in the jungle of doom. Number twelve. Welcome to the wicked um, wax museum. Um, Thirteen. Um, Scream of the evil genie. Uh, number fourteen. The creepy creations of Professor Shock, which also um, the character Professor Shock is also going to be appearing in the film as well. So yeah, creepy creations of Professor Shock. Number fifteen, please don't feed the vampire. Uh, Sixteen, secret agent, secret agent Grandma. Seventeen. Little Comic Shop of Horrors. Of course, that of course the reference to the film Little Shop Little Shop of Horrors though, so and it says Little Comic Shop of Horrors. Number eighteen, Attack of the Beastly Van um Babysitter. Number nineteen. 
19, Escape from Camp Run for Your Life. Number 20, Toy Terror, Batteries Not Included. Number 21, The Twisted Tale of Tiki Island. And then the last and the last one I have, number 22, Return to the Carnival of Horrors. Now, which um, there 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 is still more uh, after this after this book though, but um, it's it, this is this is the last book where it shows this kind of cover, you know, the where you know with this with the sparkling cover and the type of cover, you know, you don't know, if you get what I'm saying, because the next one is called a uh, Zap in Space, and the front of the cover is from then on, you know. Didn't literally look like the brand that looks like this, you know, which that which I that I was never interested in, you know. So I so I only like keep up this I only like keep up this kind of goose, give yourself goosebumps the the original look, you know. The other the other series I was never interested in, you know, the rest of the give yourself goosebumps look the the book covers, you know, and the stories just didn't, weren't really there though. But I spike so I have the original the original looking of the Give Yourself Goosebump collection, you know. <clears throat> so yeah. So that's my entire um that's my entire collection of goosebumps. Every uh, all the original I have all the original of the of the of the original series also. I also have this book here. Um it came from I I um Ohio the My Life as a Writer by R. L. Stein, which um, the story tells about the the the, the life the life story of R. L. Stein, you know, from from this, everything he had from um, tells about his life, you know, before before he wrote Goosebumps, you know, and after he wrote Goosebumps, you know. So the book talks about the life of R. L. Stein, which I do, which I do enjoy, you know, because reading how. R.L. Stein's um, about his life and how he, how he cre started created well, uh, the books he created before Goosebumps like um, um, stuff like um, like the Nightmare Room which is also a TV show as well um, or sta other standalone books you know so yeah before he wrote Goosebumps he wrote some other some other um, scary books though but and also in how he got the inspiration for Goosebumps you know and not the ideas you know. Which so I'm, I also have this book, you know, so you can see how he's surrounded by his uh, his his creations as well, you know. So yeah, so that's my that's my entire collection of Goosebumps, you know. Even though they said they said there was more after um after there's more Give Girls with Goosebumps in this in this series though, but I keep the ones because it has the original the original covers, you know, with the sparkling shiny covers, you know. And the the picture look like the original ones in the original series, you know. The the covers, you know, of the of the new of the gives you gave yourself goosebumps after this after after number twenty two, it's never was never interesting, you know. It didn't look like how as scary as the ones as the original covers are, you know. But this is me though. So yeah, my so I shall show you my entire collection of um of the original series and then most of the collections of the original Give yourself goosebumps, and the only one I ever had of the 2000 series, you know. So yeah, so this is why I I love I love goosebumps a lot, you know, and I love the TV show, you know. I'm looking forward to seeing the the film coming out August 7th, 2015. Um, R.L. Stein, yeah, I would say he's a he's a he's a great he's such a great author, you know. He's been called the uh, the Stephen King of children's novels, you know. And I was always intrigued by this, by this, this the the atmosphere and of the uh, of the premise of the stories. You know, I was never, I was never scared about reading the stories. I wasn't like, oh, you know, this is so scary. You know, I but I, but I read them and I, I but I enjoy reading them. You know, Goosebumps is, is I would say is it is a part of my life. This is what got me. This got me. This these these books got me, um, love loving to read. You know, at which the time you know which. But the, back in the back in the day, you know, that um, they wanted to stop publishing this because they said it was like too violent for kids, you know. But they later said that you know it's the best kids are reading a lot, you know. It's what the best way for kids to read is to reading these books, you know. Um. 
So yeah, like I said, I mentioned some of the characters that could be appearing in the in the film, like um, the praying mantis. You know, one of the uh, from Shark on Shark Street, one of the creeps from Calling All Creeps, the executioner from the Night in Terror Tower. Um, the the haunted mask is going to be in the film as well. Uh, Slappy, the uh from Night Living Dummy. Um, one of the one of the a couple of characters uh, from the Give Yourself Goosebumps series. Um, even a couple, even a one or two char- a one, a character from the 2000 series as well, which is a book I don't have. Um, and I'm looking, and, I'm, and um, I'm looking forward, and I'm looking forward to seeing the film, you know. And like I said, my one of my vlogs is I'm it's going it's going to go up against the Fantastic Four reboot film, you know. And I said before, and I said in that in a, in a review that Fantastic Four is gonna beat out Goosebumps, you know, because originally it, was, it took its place of a, a video game film, adapted film, Assassin's Creed. And I don't think Goosebumps is not going to be number one over the weekend because Fantastic Four has now moved into uh, Assassin's Creed's place, you know. So, yeah. So, uh, so that's my basic um, review for this uh, review for Halloween. And I uh, hope, uh, hope everyone has a good Halloween. And and what I'm going to do later, I'm going to watch the, the, TV, the TV, especially the TV show, the, the TV show, just the look of the atmosphere, the look of the TV show looks like it's it's Goosebumps um, material, you know, if you, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, like I said, one of my favorite episodes is um, How to Kill a Monster, the look of the monster, of the swan monster. Real good, well done, a uh, uh, real practical suit, you know. And how the, the monster roared, it's how they took the, some of the sound effects from, from the alien. You know, how the, the, sounds, that sound, the sound effects for the aliens and the alien franchise, you know. Like how they use the one of those uh, drawings from added to the monster. Um, one of my favorite episodes, um, which I'll uh, we'll do, I'll do a separate reviews of those episodes, you know. But I just want to quickly say what's my what were my favorite episodes. Um, one, like I said, How to Kill a Monster. Another one, uh, Part Two to Monster Blood, which is entitled More Monster Blood. It's on the airplane, you know. Um, the Girl Who Cried Monster. That's another good episode. Um. Uh, Stay Out of the Basement, that's um, another personal favorite that me and my brother used to watch all the time, that episode of uh, Part 1 and Part 2 of Stay Out of the Basement. Cre- uh, real creepy one when the, um, the characters uh, lived at the bed sheets and there was a whole bunch of worms on the bed, you know. Um, that was like another uh, a, a, a very creepy... The, 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 the show Goosebumps has shows showing uh, all the dark, creepy atmosphere, you know. And the look of the, the, the show is, as you can tell, it's Goosebumps material. Um, so yeah, that's my, but that's my review for, um, just want to quickly say that, because this is, this is how much I love Goosebumps. Goosebumps has always been a part of, a part of my life, you know, grew up loving reading the whole entire book collection, you know, watching the TV shows at the same time, you know, and the show got high, it got really high ratings, you know, which I'm, which I'm happy about. And I said, I just, I just hope the Goosebumps film movie will do well at the box office, you know, I would... I would not get, I'm not saying it's going to make over a billion dollars, no way, you know. But I would estimate, it, hopefully, I'll at least say it would make gross at least over a hundred million dollars, you know. Just give it an estimate, you know. I just hope to do the, like, people what, who read who read the, the book series over the years, you know, will, will, at least will go see the film, you know. I know I would, because I've been a big fan, I'm a big fan of Goosebumps, you know. So yeah, like I said, that's my that's my entire book collection. Keep yourself goosebumps. Um, in the of the collection and the the original collection, you know. So that's my review for my goosebumps uh, book collection. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and hopefully all all of you have a nice happy Halloween. And. That's it. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next uh, movie review. Later, and once again, happy Halloween and love Goosebumps. If anyone, I, I'm sure a lot of people out there who, for sure, for uh, who are my age who enjoy Goosebumps as well. I just feel like doing this because I've seen a lot of YouTubers um, show their own personal collections of the Goosebumps collection books that they have. You know, so I just felt like for Halloween, um, what a perfect way to do on, on Halloween is to show my uh, uh, love for Goose goosebumps, you know, and showing my entire book collection, you know, so now you know, so yeah, so thanks for watching, take care, and uh, stay tuned for the next movie review, and once again, happy Halloween, and enjoy goosebumps, I even watch the TV shows, if you, if you still watch them, you know, like, you, you won't be, if you do, 
you won't be disappointed, you know. So thanks for watching. Take care and stay tuned to the next movie review. Later.